Uh, hello, Filecoin community. Uh, as David said, my name is Mike Greenberg. I'm the project lead for Sentinel. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about how we are going about monitoring and providing tools for analysis for Filecoin. Um, the, the story should start with understanding Filecoin and being able to understand its capabilities. And without the necessary tools to create this understanding, we will not be able to explore its full capability. So let's start with this. Filecoin is a very novel technology. There are lots of uh, interesting mechanisms that Filecoin uses to ensure the storage and availability of the files that are stored on your network. And being able to dig into the, the depths of what Filecoin can offer is going to be important for uh, exploring Filecoin. Um, so it was important to have a tool that helped our developers and our community uh, create this understanding and intuition. Um, and with this understanding, we would build trust and uh, not necessarily have to rely on the word of a, a developer. You could see independently for yourself that uh, Filecoin was doing the behavior that you expected. And with this trust, we expect to develop traction and grow our community uh, into its vision and future that we have planned for it. And this, this is a problem that affects every new uh, technology and particularly in the blockchain space where there are new ideas being put forward and uh, a lot of the technology is not always within the grasp of our users so tools such as uh, like Sentinel is uh, important for making sure that um, the data, the understanding, this insight and intuition that are necessary for uh, unlocking Filecoin's capabilities are within the reach of its users. So Sentinel went about uh, trying to find a solution in, in this space. And Sentinel uh, gathers and prepares this data for, uh, from the network and uh, persists it into convenient schemas and formats that are easy to access. And uh, we approached Sentinel in a way that uh, there was a large charter of both monitoring real time what was happening on the network as well as being able to capture uh, deep data about what was happening for uh, historical, pro uh, historical analysis and, and um, reflection in, in the face of problems or uh, new ideas that we wanted to consider. So we had to approach Sentinel in a way that would be extremely configurable, um, designed in a way that one portion of Sentinel could operate independent of other portions of Sentinel. So we would have the maximum flexibility for the various use cases that we could foresee as well as the ones that we would not be able to foresee. And Sentinel tries to provide as much as possible out of the box so that there is as little con uh, little configuration and man manipulation of the software stack as possible to get you immediate insight and understanding as far as what's happening. Um, Sentinel, uh, much like the other projects that uh, Filecoin is, is, uh, is, is involved with Filecoin, is open source first. And this was important to ensure not only uh, accessibility to the data, but also to uh, validate correctness and accuracy and as quickly as possible remove these barriers and friction that, that uh, are standing in the way of uh, our users' ability to reason about what Filecoin is doing uh, in, with, with their um, ideas in mind for how they want to pursue them. We, we want to give them a solid footing for, for their ideas and knowing where you can step from is part of what Sentinel can provide. Um, but at the same time, this, this deep analysis is, is only part of it and understanding the up to the second behavior of the network is extremely important for uh, a project of this size. And so, uh, Sentinel also had to solve the real-time monitoring problem and does so in a, uh, a pretty interesting way that allows 
distributed capture of this data, but have it coalesced into a central location that is easy to work with and um, quick to, to uh, make changes to and work around. So let's talk a little bit about the specifics for how Sentinel does this. Um, obviously, creating this software in, a, in an open and transparent environment was our first priority. And um, we, in this open environment, we allow the majority of our community to be able to learn from what Sentinel is doing, not necessarily to, uh, not necessarily by using the software, but by understanding the way that Sentinel interacts with existing services that Filecoin exposes. Um, there are a lot of developers who are learning about how Filecoin works and how to build on top of Filecoin. And Sentinel is arguably one of those first uh, applications which push the limits of what the Filecoin nodes are capable of doing. So there was a lot of learning that went into this that we were able to share with the rest of the community as, as part of this effort. Um, of course, the objectives of real-time monitoring and deep historical analysis are, are key objectives past our uh, mode of engagement on this project and trying to find the right set of tools for uh, each part of this task was uh, somewhat difficult as, as you can imagine that these concerns are a little bit opposing in their requirements and needs in certain areas. Um, but nevertheless, having these goals at the, at the front of our project was uh, extremely important to make sure that as soon as we found out about some sort of challenge or something that was occurring that was not as expected on the network, that we had the means to dig in further and be able to answer additional questions that might come out of, uh, come out of that insight. Uh, of course, Filecoin being a distributed network of nodes, uh, collecting data from a lot of different places is somewhat difficult. And we had to design our solutions so that we could opt in certain parts of our network into this collection of data and include that as part of our cap analysis capability uh, should we need it in the future. So this, this part is considered as well as, as part of our design. And then lastly, making the design um, as orthogonal as possible so that we could maximize our capability of configuring different parts of Sentinel as different needs arise. Um, we, can, we can talk a little bit further about what that looks like, but this, this was also an important detail for uh, Sentinel's success. So this is uh, an overview as far as how Sentinel looks today. The technology that we use to, to drive Sentinel is a combination of different off-the-shelf products um, this was very important because obviously when your project is going as fast as Filecoin is, uh, it's very important to not necessarily reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. And fortunately, there were many solutions that were already available to us that we were able to leverage to get insight quickly without having to uh, roll our own solution. So the stack for Sentinel looks at the base like a regular Postgres database with some uh, time series extensions built in that are provided by Timescale DB. And this uh, database is the, the, the foundation for all of our monitoring and, and analysis work that Sentinel does. Um, leaning on Postgres's long history of uh, solid and stable uh, capability and, and um, use in enterprise environments was extremely important for us on the Filecoin team. And we are finding value and benefit from Postgres's uh, well accepted, well understood interface for working with uh, large sets of data. Um, pushing into this database footprint are two primary components, uh, Visor, which primarily focuses on uh, static 
uh, on-chain state that has been agreed upon by network consensus. And uh, it will have deep understanding as far as the individual state changes that Filecoin uh, experiences from one tip set to the next as the blockchain grows. And Visor has been designed in a way to optimally pull the data out from Lotus today, uh, which, which is the node that we support today for capturing data, uh, using its, using its uh, JSON API. And doing so efficiently for the large amount of data as the blockchain continues to grow in the, in the small time that there is between blocks that are formed on the, on the chain. Um, Visor has the capability of doing this at scale um, through coordination via the timescale DB uh, um, base. Uh, there's also Drone, which is a customized version of Telegraph, which is a um, push style uh, telemetry agent that can be deployed in multiple places and also writes directly to our database. And internally, we, uh, we don't have, um, we, we allow drone to essentially push wholesale into our, into our data store for analysis purposes and expect that drone can be useful in the future for public consumption as well, where we could have people from the community opting in their data from their node into a public repository of uh, data on Filecoin's behavior. And given Drone's capability of being a rather light footprint uh, by virtue of uh, the, the small requirement that it has on Lotus and its API, we're able to deploy multiple versions of Drone across our network. And depending on the sort of information that was important for uh, whomever is operating Sentinel to, to learn about, we could be thoughtful about how drone is actually deployed. And the intended use is for us to have a geographically diverse uh, presence through drone and listening to uh, local nodes to understand details like um, chain health in the local uh, region and block propagation as it's experienced through certain networks and congestion points on the internet. And then on the front of all of this, uh, if, if the uh, SQL interface that Postgres provides is not necessarily your cup of tea, uh, we understand that there are a lot of concepts and details about Filecoin that aren't going to be immediately clear, particularly if you're sitting down in front of the schema that Sentinel creates. Um, it may be somewhat overwhelming. So Grafana acts as our uh, front-end facade with um, with nice stories to tell about the existing data that we have and helps provide immediate insight without necessarily having to uh, build out the tooling for uh, these dashboards. Um, this is uh, to, to illustrate a little bit about the configurability of Sentinel uh, there are a few diagrams that express some ways that Sentinel can be deployed for, uh, depending on the use case that you're interested in. And we have uh, currently two separate types of deployments that we are working towards right now, where there is a very thin uh, deployment of Visor and several drone nodes pushing into uh, the database following the current chain head of Filecoin and trying to understand what Filecoin is doing at the moment in real time. In addition to that, there's also uh, the ability of deploying Sentinel in a way that supports uh, fast prop uh, processing and uh, capture of historical data that's already been produced on chain. And as uh, Filecoin's blockchain continues to grow uh, in only the few months that uh, Filecoin has been operating, the data can become quite large. And so being able to scale out Sentinel in a way to 
quickly process this historical chain state is uh, one of the edges of our highly configurable setup, where you can have uh, multiple sets of visor, or multiple instances of visor focused on specific parts of on-chain state processing. And depending on your needs, you can expose that database for various uses as it supports your, your local analysis needs. So just, just to give you a little bit of a, a, a big picture as far as how this might look like in, an, uh, in, a, in a highly production ready enterprise grade environment, you can imagine a, an entire network with various drones sprinkled throughout pushing into um, a cluster of databases which are uh, configured in a way to optimize the ingestion of data and then replicated to a front, a front end database that allows for ease of use and responsive uh, queries for um, not just monitoring, but also for analysis purposes. So you can, you can kind of see that there is a, a lot of capability that Sentinel has to offer here. And this is really just a foundation for uh, future capability that Sentinel will have uh, tomorrow. For example, as we understand uh, the needs of our teams internally to analyze what Filecoin is doing, um, we expect that there will be additional uh, pipelines of processing that will have to be created to supplement the existing schema, which will create new schema and new um, types of views over the type over the data that Sentinel captures uh, with no limit really to um, to the extensibility aspect of this there is no reason why a particular answer to what is happening on file coin remains a mystery uh, with Sentinel's help you can build out the behavior that you need and exercise it over your existing schema to get answers immediately without complicated deployments and without uh, necessarily throwing away all of your data and being able to take advantage of what was already completed. This is, this is our, our main objective and we're, we're mostly uh, covering those points with a few rough edges, of course, as any new project has, um, but these are our goals and we expect that uh, anyone who's uh, operating Sentinel in, in an enterprise-grade environment will require and, and, and rely on these, these, um, these guarantees. So we, we have these guarantees in mind. Um, as I said before, Sentinel is not trying to create new solutions. So we've leaned on uh, existing patterns and practices that are industry standard so that um, those that are interacting with Sentinel and managing it and deploying it and, and handling it on a day-to-day -day basis have familiar objects that they are not having to spend um, many cycles having to ramp up on. So uh, obviously our Postgres uh, footprint creates a fantastic interface for uh, SQL queries, which have been uh, standard for decades now, but also taking advantage of newer technologies such as Docker, Kubernetes, and uh, tooling for scheduling deployments and managing your deployments with Helm. Uh, we also try to use existing um, protocols for uh, piping telemetry to and from certain places. And while the nature of the internet doesn't always necessarily allow for um, all of these um, all of these transports to work with guarantee in all of the env environments that we may or may not have been able to foresee that Sentinel would be deployed into. Uh, technologies like Prometheus internally to, to Sentinel will provide local insight and uh, taking advantage of uh, HTTP transports uh, remotely will, will allow for remote telemetry to be pushed in 
and have interesting um, gatekeeping applied to it, particularly in the scenarios where we're accepting public data, where we might want to sequester the, this public data for analysis or validation or accuracy before accepting it into our uh, proper analysis data set. And of course, Grafana, which has become almost de facto for managing large sets of uh, panels and, and graphs and uh, orchestrating data across different data sets. We, we felt that Grafana was a fantastic first step for creating insight into the data that we have and have ideas for how to improve on that experience in the future. Here's uh, our, our main dashboard that we have created for Sentinel to give you an idea of some of the um, some of what we're working on with many other dashboards that we're working on in the background uh, as new schema becomes uh, available to Sentinel and new processing becomes available. This dashboard will continue to become rich, more rich, um, with additional data as well as alerts for uh, errant behavior that is undesired. So here's a here's a quick walkthrough um, of a particular problem that uh, we were facing on the uh, Filecoin team uh, since launch, and uh, this gives a little bit of an insight as to how Sentinel might go about solving uh, problems that you would experience on a on a day to day uh, while operating your your node within the Filecoin network. And so there were uh, some reports where uh, certain miners felt as though that their meager um, power commitments were not allowing their blocks to be selected. Uh, we're not allowing their nodes to be selected for block creation on the network. Um, some some insight into this this mechanism. Uh, Filecoin is a staking blockchain and uses storage power as a means for um, your uh, the the probability of your node being selected to produce the the following block in the next tip set, and so. Uh, understanding your committed power that's on chain, as well as all of the historical data about blocks that have been produced on the network, were very important for understanding whether or not this report were was uh, accurate or not. And Sentinel, uh, as part of its data capture, includes all of the blocks from every miner, including the messages which were included within. And with this data, we can quickly determine not just what the actual uh, win rate is, if you will, of each miner on the network, but then we can do statistical analysis to understand whether or not this was within uh, a, a reasonable randomness or if there is some possibility of tampering with the randomness, which is so important for the security of the chain. And in addition to the data that Visor is capturing about individual miners, the blocks that they produce, and the messages that they include, Drone has the capability of capturing localized information about what other nodes outside of our controlled environment be experiencing about block propagation on the network. Um, this would also include information about locally produced blocks, which may or may not have been propagated outside of local networks due to uh, reasons outside of the control of any miner or uh, operator on the network. And then in addition to that, having tools like SQL at the base of our uh, um, data set allows us to very quickly do in database statistical, statistical analysis, which allows us to avoid uh, complicated and expensive extraction tasks that require transformation and, and uh, restructuring in a way to do, to do the analysis that we're interested in doing. Um, SQL provides a very, very nice platform for, for these purposes. And doing things like 
understanding the wind counts that are associated with blocks that are produced on the network and building histograms of wind counts per tip set was extremely trivial and a matter of a single query, which a database answers within seconds. So where does Sentinel go from here? What, what does Sentinel have at this point? And what can it do tomorrow? So we released our first uh, version back earlier this year or this month uh, for version 0 0.3.2. Uh, it is what we are currently running in production. And there are many improvements that have already been placed on that, uh, on top of that release, which we will continue to, to, uh, to release to the public. But in the coming months and in the early uh, half of next year, we expect that there's going to be a lot of polish and improvement around working with our uh, tool chain, deploying our tool chain, um, having documentation that supports your understanding of how the tool chain is doing what it's supposed to be doing, and creating open uh, formats and easier access for those that may not have the skills or capability of erecting Sentinel uh, on their own. So there will be some exciting things that we have to announce uh, as the months come up, come along, but um, Sentinel's platform and pattern is very, uh, very flexible and capable of, of quite a bit more than, than what we're talking about here on this slide. And uh, I don't necessarily want to give away all the exciting, uh, all the exciting um, hints. So you can use Sentinel today. Um, if you're interested in checking it out, I highly recommend you check out the parent repository. You can find that at github.com slash filecoin dash project slash sentinel. You can also find us in the filecoin slack uh, in the channel fill dash sentinel. Our team is actively involved in the channel. If you have questions or you want to tell us about your experience working with, this, with the stack, we'd love to hear it. Um, we're working very hard on improving it on a regular basis. So um, please tell us your feedback and, and opinions. Um, and if for some reason you're interested in reaching out to me to understand some of the direction of uh, Sentinel, please feel free and we will uh, try to get some of your ideas possibly in the works.